In this course, we will introduce the setting procedure of tracking analysis in DS3000. The content of the course is as follows. 1. Sensor and hardware connection. The hardware configuration used for this measurement is accelerometer NP3211, electromagnetic detector MP992, FFT analyzer D3000, PC, FFT analysis software DS0321, tracking analysis software DS0322, and a rotating body testing device. This time, we will connect the accelerometer to the channel 1 and the electromagnetic detector to the external sample input. Next, install the accelerometer on the rotating testing device. The electromagnetic detector is installed like this. 2. Input setting Choose the input setting from the Input Output tab. In the Input Condition Setting window, check the CCLD of Channel 1. By turning on CCLD, power is applied to the sensor. Make sure that the signal can be detected. Three, unit calibration. Select unit cal setting from the menu. Select the unit calib tab and check channel one. Set the unit name of channel one to meter per second squared. For the EU value, refer to the calibration chart and enter the sensitivity of the sensor. Here, the sensor sensitivity is 1.072 millivolt per meter per second squared. Set the zero decibel reference value to 1 to the negative fifth power. 4. Rotation Pulse Signal Setting Start the rotating body testing device so that the rotating pulse is input to the DS3000. Open Schedule Setting from the menu. Select the Rotation Conditions tab and set the rotation pulse signal. This time, one pulse is output per rotation. So, enter 1 for the pulse count. The detection level is set to be between the upper and lower limits of the rotation pulse. Increase the rotation speed of the rotating body testing device and check if the rotation speed can be measured. Five, frequency range and sampling points. Set the frequency range in the toolbar. Here, we'll set it to one kilohertz. Set the sampling points in the toolbar. Here, we'll set it to one zero two four points. Six, window function. Select Window Function setting from the menu. Since this is a continuous signal, set Channel 1 to Hunning. 7. Sampling Condition setting. Select the sampling method from Sampling Condition. Select External 
to perform a constant ratio tracking analysis using an external sampling method. In this constant ratio tracking analysis graph, the horizontal axis is the order, the vertical axis is the rotation speed, and the shade of color shows the magnitude of the vibration. Select internal to perform a constant width tracking analysis using the internal sampling method. In this constant width tracking analysis graph, the horizontal axis is the frequency, the vertical axis is the rotation speed, and the shade of color shows the magnitude of the vibration. 8. Constant ratio tracking analysis. Set the sampling condition to external. Open schedule setting from the menu and set the schedule mode lower and upper limit, the interval of the rotation speed, the maximum number of blocks, the slope, and the maximum analysis order. 9. Performing constant ratio tracking analysis. Click the Schedule 3D button at the top of the graph window. Right-click on the graph window and select 3D display. With Schedule turn on, set 3D display to Color Map Display and Display Line Count to 400 in the Configuration window. Click Schedule, then click Start to wait for the rotation pulse signal. Slowly increase the rotation speed of the rotating body testing device. When the rotation speed reached the upper limit of 3000 rotations, stop the rotating testing device. The drawing of the tracking analysis graph starts when the rotation speed of the body reached the upper limit. Use the search cursor to identify the characteristic components of the order. Ten. Constant width tracking setting. Set the sampling condition to internal. Open schedule setting from the menu, and set the schedule mode, lower and upper limit the interval of the rotation speed, and the slope. 11. Performing constant width tracking analysis. Click the buttons in the order of Schedule, Start to wait for the rotation pulse signal. Slowly increase the rotation speed of the rotating body test device. Stop the rotating test device when the rotation speed reached the upper limit of 3000 rotations. When the rotation speed of the rotating test device reached the upper limit, the drawing of the tracking graph will start. Right-click on the graph window and select 3D Display. Turn on Tracking Cursor in the Configuration window. Use the Tracking Cursor to identify characteristic order components. Twelve. Drawing Trace Lines. From the color map, Select the rotation order component you want to focus on. In this example, we will focus on the 1st, 2nd, 4.5th and 10th order components. Click on the Schedule button at the top of the graph window to display the tracking diagram graph. Right-click on the graph window and select Trace Line Settings. 
Select Overall and specify the order components you want to draw. For constant width tracking analysis, check the boxes for a peak search and order band. A tracking diagram of the specified order components and overall will be displayed. That's it for this measurement. Thank you for watching.